Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and welcome back to another Watch Dogs mod showcase. Today we're going to be looking at the 2013 mod pack. Now originally I was going to do a video on Project Grid, however that has been delisted and the mod creator says to use this mod instead so that's what we're going to be looking at today. From the mod page, it is a mod that is a mix between 2013 July 29th and 2013 August 12th builds. Now overall I would say this is a pretty well rounded graphics mod, nothing too flashy. I'd say it doesn't really suffer from the overly wet ground at night syndrome, but starting off with some of the cool features that are in this mod, we have 2013 Aiden materials, 2013 driving, which I would say in some cars definitely feels a lot more responsive, sometimes even too responsive compared to vanilla driving. We've got 2013 on foot and in vehicle cameras, late 2013 graphics of course, improved car reflections. 2013 clouds and 2013 fog, a fix for Aiden's neutral face animation, beta inspired exhaust backfire particles, beta Nikki materials, big brother beta style cutscene, a new death rag doll. Jogging and profiling animations for walking, less intensified bloom, which it almost, in some parts, seems like it's the opposite. Two-handed driving, anamorphic flares, and of course what would a mod pack be without including Living City, as well as the 2012 2013 phone screen. A couple things, I'm not the biggest fan of the no main menu background video playing, and whatever font that they're using for the captions kind of looks a little worse than the original game, but I guess if this is striving to be a 2013 accurate build, maybe that makes sense. I don't know. I would say this mod does a pretty good balance at the day-night uh, visual fidelity. So some mods will have uh, a super amazing looking night, like it just, it looks insane, it looks like cyberpunk or something, and then the daytime just looks absolutely terrible because that's not what you show in videos. But I would say this one has a pretty good balance, I would say night generally looks better, but daytime doesn't look horrible, like in some mods. I also don't know exactly which mod this is from, but the extra vehicle camera angle um, that's like super wide out honestly looks really good, like it should have been included in the base game. Even just playing with it on for a few minutes I got some pretty cinematic looking shots. Also I didn't go over every single feature in this mod, there's a ton of new bug fixes and small additions as well, I just kind of went over the ones that were my favorite, but the full change log can be found on the mod page. And yeah, so let me know what you all think about this mod down in the comment section below. As always, link to download and a tutorial on how to install the mod will be in the description if you want to go check it out. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.